All right, so you've got a wise cam, you've got it all set up and ready to go. Uh, let's get into all the details about the live stream. The devices tab shows all your connected devices with a thumbnail from the last streaming session. Just press on the thumbnail of the camera you wanna to see to jump into a new live stream. You should see a live feed video uh, from your wise cam. This is what's going on right now in front of your camera. If there's any movement within the live stream, you might see a green box highlighting that movement. This is called motion tagging, and it's designed to help you easily identify where the action is happening at any time. Above the video feed in the top left corner, there's an HD-SD toggle. HD-SD affects your video quality by causing your wise cam to switch between high definition HD and standard definition SD. A high definition will have a clearer image, but it requires a stronger internet connection and it takes more storage space if you're recording to a micro SD card, which we'll discuss in more detail later. On the right side, you'll find night vision. Night vision turns your video gray and makes use of the camera's infrared lights so that you can see in the dark. By tapping the button, you can toggle the night vision on, off, or put it on auto. And as you'd expect, auto switches night vision on automatically as it gets dark. Now, within the live view itself, there's a number in the upper left corner of the stream telling you how much data is currently being transferred to your phone. A higher bit rate usually means higher picture quality, but it can also mean there's movement or bright colors within the stream. You might see a timestamp in the bottom right corner if it's turned on in your camera settings. In the top right corner, you'll see the edges of a little square. You can press that to enter full screen mode. Pull your fingers apart on the video to digitally zoom up to eight times magnification and zoom back out by pinching your fingers together. Now let's check out these buttons lined up here underneath the video feed. You can toggle audio on and off with this sound button. Next to that is the record video button where you can record a video clip from the live stream to your phone. The clip will record as long as you'd like, though it will end if you exit the live stream. The next button to the right is the voice button, which is how you use the two-way audio. Now this feature works more like a walkie-talkie than a phone. You press the button, hold it down to speak, and then let the button go to listen. So you aren't able to speak and hear sound through the wise cam at the same time. The next button is take photo. It does about exactly what you'd expect by taking a snapshot of the video feed that you're looking at. Your videos and your photos can then be found in your album. The videos and photos saved here in the album are also saved natively in your phone's gallery, which is why your wise app initially asked permission to access your phone's storage. The Wise App album will only show the videos and photos you've actually taken with your Wise Cam. Inside the album, you'll see a Videos tab and a Photos tab at the top. Starting with videos, if you tap on a video, you'll have the option to play or pause the video. You can also go to full screen mode. Uh, this button right here lets you listen to the audio. You can share the file or delete the file. And then with photos, you also have the share and delete options. If you do choose to share a file, you'll have a little screen that pops up with all the different ways you can share, similar to what you'd see in other apps. One more thing to show you in the album. In the top right corner, there is an edit icon. If you press that, you can select multiple files to share or delete so that you don't have to do that individually if you've got multiple files that you're working with. Just tap the little bubble next to each photo or video, and then you can share or delete them altogether. Now, before we get into the playback and time-lapse tabs down here, uh, let's first take some time to talk about alert settings. We'll cover all that in detail in the next video. We'll see you over there.